This is the new one. Sorry I took the old one off if your comments are there. It's just on private, but I appreciate it. Anyway, let's tear into it, no more talking. Now the GoPro 7 came out a week ago around the rest of the world, but in New Zealand it comes out on the 27th, which is in a couple of days. Good bastard, Hayden at Noel Leeming in Richmond gave me this one. I'm going to be unboxing to show you guys, but my question to GoPro is this, is why do we in New Zealand have to be the last ones to get it when everyone else has already done the opening seven days ago? Is it because New Zealand's at the arsehole of the world? Come on GoPro, sort it out. We're the adventure capital of the world, we should be getting it first. You can get there too. Righto, let's crank her over. It's exciting stuff, isn't it? Opening something that uh, is new. So it comes with a wee display like that. All the bits and pieces. Little GoPro booklet. Some stickers to put on your boat or your car. Bit of free advertising for GoPro. Standard battery, which is the same as the GoPro 5 and the GoPro 6. Sticky clamp charger or lead to your computer and one of those things there you can stick on the stuff as well so you've got two of those you can put them on hats and different things and very simple their typical GoPro uh, lock system which just squeezes and pulls it like that well the Hero 7 black actually is black compared to the old Hero 6 which they call black but uh, apart from the blood stains and fish stains on mine it's kind of an opaque grey, so definitely a colour difference. The other difference too is that uh, this one here has got uh, Hero 6 on the side. You can read if you've got incredible eyesight, which I certainly don't have. Whereas for a blind old bug like me, you can see the 7 on the side and distinguish the difference. This is the Karma Grip, which basically replicates the same thing as if you were to tie your GoPro to a chicken's head. You know how a chicken always has its head in the same place? Body moves, but the head stays the same. Same as this. Okay, the Hero 7. It uh, apparently has a built-in stabiliser. I doubt if it's as good as a gimbal, I'm pretty sceptical about that being that good. But one of the things about having this plugged into that is you can't plug in an external microphone. If this has got a gimbal built into it, or stabiliser, which is better than the existing stabiliser that the 6 has built into it, then you could do away with the Karma Grip and have an external microphone, which would get rid of your microphone problems because basically the uh, GoPro microphones have been shit. They've always sounded horrible. so. I'm really keen to see what that's going to be like. Uh, apparently they've got a different diaphragm now covering the microphone, so we'll see how that goes. Give me pace. Pace come. Pace come. Get on. Good boy. Good dog. Woo! They're fighting the car in here, boys. We've got heaps of sheep on the farm, but there's one sheep I'm looking in particular. And there's a clue. It's been hanging around the apples somewhere eating them. Creamy. Opening one of these is dangerous for your health, believe me. It just about gets me every time. Like I'm <laughs> just like that. <laughs> Thank you who sent that to me. Right, do not do this at home if you've got two GoPros and a Mavic drone. I did it yesterday and nearly failed. The payload is heavy. My drone came down so hard it nearly broke. I have got the Hero 6 on one side and uh, on the starboard side I've got the the Hero 7. I've got this, I've got the camera on the drone going as well so we might get to get three views. I'm running both GoPros at 4K at 60 frames per second. Take off.
right. I wonder how this has gone. The rain's come down and uh, it will also affect the picture and it's quite dark. I didn't have the light sensors on. And there's also rain now on the lens that uh, Arwee's filming with the camera. Yep, it's beeping. Right out. We're rolling. She's all excited. You think you're going for a hunt, mate? You do, don't you? No, sorry. 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 Not going to happen. So we'll be shooting profile styles to begin with that way and then we'll try and revolve it around the other way. Well, we'll let Pace out for a run too, eh Pace? And Bruno. Come on. We're running at 4K, we use a standard stabiliser, but if we go to 1080p, we use the hyper smooth stabilisation. And we use that so we can compare the Hero 6 with the Hero 7 at 1080p. Okay, let's try and turn this collar around so this way. Depending on how far we'll go, eh? Probably turn around again. For blokes like me that fish and hunt and like to film it, the GoPro is a great tool. So the Hero 7 is one that I'm interested to know what it's going to be like filming at night in low light using a head torch. Because a head torch can stuff up the sensor for low light. So I'll be taking this boat out in about an hour and a half, this spear, whacking the Hero 7 on it, and trying to spear a flounder or two. We'll see how that goes. Just a matter of time before we find a nice fat flounder. Hey Pace. Went to that really muddy stuff with the holes in this is where you generally find flounder. There's one over there, just got one now. Rightio. Gotta get the tide right. There's a spear. Gonna go to the top of it. Turn this off. Nice one. Best flounder of the day. Beauty. Thank you Dave. That's a nice one. Nice headshot too, so no meat damage. First one day pace. Stay where you are mate. Perfect. Bloody perfect. Let's now test the audio. The Hero 6 and the Hero 7. Right, talking into the 6 now, I think from memory from the last one, the Hero 6 is clearer, but not quite as warm. I've used it for a while, I've never particularly liked the audio sound, will the 7 be any better? Well I have already tested the 7, I find it to be warmer, uh, this is another test yet again, but I do think it's got a warmer sound, but maybe not as clear as the 6, I'm still on the uh, fence of it, it'd be nice to hear it with an external microphone. Right, so that's the audio part of the test over, turn those off. Well it's a new day, it's a bloody nice day outside, what we're going to do is, we're going to measure the hyper smooth stabilisation of the GoPro Hero 7 against the standard stabilisation of the Hero 6. But what we're also going to do is, and what I didn't do in my last uh, review, is take this off. Now take these lens protectors off, you basically pull out and turn anti-clockwise. Okay, both cameras running at 2.7K, 60 frames per second. The stabilisation on. Good morning, how are you doing Pace? Let's go for a run. Welcome. Come. Bruno, come. Gonna go up the cell here. How's it looking so far, folks? It's a beautiful day. Whew. Come on, Bruno. Good boy. Get a flower on your ID dog. It's just a beautiful day. Get the blood running. Oh. 
Pace chasing after a rabbit, I think. Pace, come. Yeah, Pace. That's the two side by side. Going for a run. What we'll do now is we'll pop the Hero 7 onto the Karma Grip with the hyper smooth stabilization running at 2.7k, 60 frames per second, and see what that looks like. So filming now with the Hero 6, what we're going to do is we're going to put the Hero 7 into the Karma Grip. Now the Karma Grip is a gimbal with electrical motors inside that stabilize it. Very, very fancy piece of equipment and bloody expensive too. Uh, the downside is you can't plug an external microphone into that, and because you use up all the ports on the side and there, you can't run a microphone from your camera. Now to take this off, you basically just pull it, like that. People often wonder how to get it off, you just pull it off and put it back on. And you plug it into the two fittings in the side there, in the camera grip. Getting them perfectly in line, because if you don't, you stuff things up. So we're just going to slide that in. I say just slide in, but very carefully. So it's in the unit now, and now we switch it on. The Hero 7, running in the camera grip, 2.7k, 60 frames per second. Hyper smooth stabilization against the Hero 6, just general uh, standard stabilization. All right, dogs, let's go for a run. Come on. Come on. Leave the rabbit space. Don't touch the rabbits. Good boy. Come on, boat. Leave a rabbit's pace. All right, stabilization test done with the camera grip, which I'm still holding in my hand. Now that brings me to a point: if you're filming with a camera of any sort, whether it's a GoPro or not, you can always hold it much more stable if you've got it on a stick of some sort or a handle not necessarily just a gimbal but just something else to, other than the camera if you try and film with a, a gopro just in your bare hand you will always get more movement as i have found out right we'll take us inside check it out and uh, compare notes all righty that's my review uh what did i learn well one thing i learned is i'm pretty bloody useless at doing reviews the first one was a disaster so hopefully this one's uh, got things done a bit better hey pace you enjoyed didn't you running around the farm so I've missed out a whole lot of stuff that uh, the nerds and the uh, real techos will know more about this. You can go away now fella, it's uh, your part of the video, off you go. Uh, I didn't do anything much more on the time lapse, I mean the time lapse has always been on GoPros but they have upgraded stuff like they've got better stabilisation than that, away you go mate. Uh, I didn't go into the super photo aspect of stills, because I've got a DSLR camera and I think that's better for doing stills. And uh, what else did I go into, oh I mean a whole lot of stuff. Um, or the selfie aspect of it, which uh, is kind of cool. I don't know if we can focus on that. So when you've got the camera that way, so for all you uh, Instagram bunnies, you've got that nice straight up and down, which us YouTubers don't particularly like much. And then it just creaks itself when you go that way, which is kind of kind of cool. Now, uh, I don't belong to the GoPro family as such. And when you belong to the GoPro family, of course, you've got to say all the good stuff about it. And I'm like you, I've just got to go out and pay for mine like everybody else which actually is bloody good, because then you can say the things that you don't like about it. So I saw this review done with Casey Neistat and the CEO of GoPro, and one of the things he said was, this new one, you can throw away your DSR camera. DSLR, digital lens, DS, digital single lens reflex camera, that's what it stands for. Rubbish, I'm talking into a digital single lens reflex camera now, and the quality is way better. GoPro. You sound shit, it's always been shit, it's always probably going to be shit. You're never going to be as good as a bigger camera like that. If you are, I'd love to see it, but don't say it's going to replace a DSLR camera because it's not. It's nowhere near close to it. It, it. And who would expect it to be? It's designed for completely different stuff. Just like I wouldn't take my DSLR camera out pig hunting or deer stalking into a real rough environment. Actually, having said that, I have done that and I've, I've come unstuck. That's why we love these. So, uh... Basically, uh, the things I really do love about this new one, it's got to be the stabilisation, doesn't it? I mean, it's, it's amazing. It's absolutely bloody amazing. Although, having said that, when you stick it on a collar, on a dog's head, it's still all over the shop, and I can't tell a hell of a lot of difference, because the camera's basically doing this all the time, and we're never going to get that much better. 
Uh, what else do I have in my notes? Um, uh, the uh, time lapse, so I talked about that. Uh, don't do a lot of time lapse, actually I do no time lapse. Um, the low light uh, function, this, I didn't really look deep into that, but apparently it is slightly better. I can't see why. When I took it out floundering, to be honest, I noticed absolutely no difference from the 7 to the 6. Uh, the sound on this, you know, I'm still on the fence about that. What do you reckon about the sound? I thought the sound was a little bit sort of, it's warmer, but the 6 sounds clearer. Maybe it's because I'm a deaf old bastard, and maybe you guys of younger ears will better call that one better, so you can decide for yourself. That's pretty much it. Um, Smash the like button on this video because I'm a hunting channel and you know hunting channels are just pushed right to the bottom of the barrel and every time you hit the like button what it does is it means that it regenerates more views on the on the video and we get seen more which we don't because like I said we're pushed to the bottom of the barrel. Hunting channels are slowly dying in New Zealand on YouTube because of the uh, community guidelines. So if you want to keep me going smash the like button and you know it's not too hard to do it doesn't take a lot of energy you just gotta go put your finger. All right. All right, good luck with your own filming, your own editing, and I hope you've enjoyed my review. Be good. If you can't be good, try and do what my dog's not doing. Come here, Pace. Pace, come. <laughs> Pace, come. <laughs> be careful chasing bloody chickens again, eh? Don't chase the chickens. Leave the chickens. Wagging his tail like he did nothing. I saw that. I saw that. He's a little killer. He's a killer. All right, see you later. Come on, mate. Let's go for another run. Thank you.